James Johan, nice to meet you guys. Uh, I'm from beautiful sunny Paola, Kansas. I'm a big fan of Paola. It's not, it's not that exciting. No, it's a great little town. I'm happy to be back in uh, Kansas City. I grew up here, um, lived here most of my life, uh, been traveling a lot. My manager decided it was a good idea for me to go try comedy on these cruise ships. Okay, some of these cruise ships have comedy clubs on them now. I'm not supposed to say the name of the cruise line I work for on stage here for legal reasons, but it rhymes with carnival. Uh, you guys ever been on a cruise? You ever been on one? They sent me some neat places. Last year they sent me over, I went to France. <laughs> And my little redneck butt did not belong in France. <laughs> First off, like a 10 hour flight just to get over there. I get there, I'm in Paris. I'm in the Charles de Gaulle airport. It's a beautiful airport, but I'm starving. I'm looking for food. All the signs are in that French talk and stuff. I finally found a place serving food, but the kid working there doesn't speak English. Now I gotta speak French. I'm like, El Burger O, dude. <laughs> French fries, you invented them, stupid. <laughs> Twitch a little mustache off, Pierre. Find some fries. Hmm. But I've been busy here too. I've been busy since uh, well Christmas. I went down to Tennessee to see my cousin. We had a good time. We smoked some cigarettes at the jail there and everything. <laughs> but on the way home, like I always do, I get yanked out of line for one of those advanced screenings they do. You know, after 9 11, now they want to frisk everybody. And I'm not saying it was illegal. This dude got pretty touchy feely with me. He ran his hand up my thigh, he touched my butt. Remember, it's a mistletoe hanging there. Me and that dude might still be dating. <laughs> And it made me mad because about a week later I found out they don't even have TSA at the Greyhound station. I was just like, weirdo with a plastic bag. I've been traveling a lot, and when I get off the road, I like to, uh, I got a little girl. Well, I keep saying my daughter's little, but she's 15 now. Uh, she just got her driver's license. And uh, she, uh, when I get off the road, we like to do a lot of fun stuff. So she's a teenager, she likes to go to the mall. And the first thing we do when we get to Oak Park Mall is we go straight to the cookie store, we got like 50 bucks worth of cookies. Which is uh, two cookies at the football park. <laughs> Vince likes to go to the store for, called Forever 21. Have you guys heard of this store, Forever 21? Okay, this is a store for teenagers and it's run by teenagers. And this store is a mess, you guys. It looks like a Bridget Co. factory that JC Penny went to a Walmart and blew up. That's what it looks like. And they, you're in there forever with that stupid ooch, 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 ooch. <laughs> And I'm like, what do you want in this stupid store? And she's like, I need some distressed jeans, Dad. I go, okay, what does that mean? She goes, they're distressed, they have holes in them. I'm like, you want me to buy you a brand new pair of jeans already got holes in them? She's like, yeah, they're distressed, they're cool. I'm like, all right, you remember that when I buy you a car, some of them don't have bumpers and headlights and things. Look, it's already got dents in it. It's, it's distressed. It's an 86 Topaz. Enjoy that. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with her daughter. I'll tell you what, she's a good kid. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. But I don't think anybody knows what they're doing. When you have your first child, you don't know what you're doing. You have to ask people questions and look stuff up. Shoot, my buddy Brian had a kid way before me. He used to get so desperate, he'd come ask me stuff. Yeah, he comes up one summer, he's like, dude, my son just flunked third grade. I don't know how to tell my son he's going to get held back a year. I guess you better tell him slow, so a little more on the good. What, you want to mess up your turkey? How'd you do that? Stupid turkey. All you do is glue noodles and stuff and don't poop. It's not hard. Oh, no. That was me, not good. Maybe that, maybe that kid doesn't like school. You know, I understand. I hated school. I never did like school. I got picked on a lot when I was little. I think that's how I wound up doing this. I started trying to be funny in school so people would you know, hit me all the time. <laughs> now, I remember when it started. It was fourth grade. Because in fourth grade, I had a real bad speech impediment. I couldn't say my awes, you know. Yeah, the letter aw. <laughs> so they put me in the hallway with this speech therapist lady. In the hallway, where every girl went to the bathroom got to see me going aw, 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 wabbit, 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 wabbit. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hello, oh, man. There was only one other kid in the whole school that had a speech problem. His name was Steven. He couldn't say his ethic. And I hated him every day. We'd fight every day. He's like, shut up, stupid. I'm like, whatever, loser. I'm going to kick your butt at we says. <laughs> You're laughing. That's a true story. <laughs> All right. You guys seem fun tonight. You ready to get started? You ready to get going? We got a great lineup tonight. Oh, thank you very much. And here, our first comedian coming to the stage, Andrea Caspari. She is wonderful. She's a regular at the KC Improv. She also is the winner of the Clean Comedy Challenge at the Ice House in Pasadena. Please, nice big warm welcome for Andrea Caspari! Girls, loud and proud. Oh, I love it. I love it. Um, you don't even have to cheer. We can see you. 
and it's just so great to be here. It's cool. It's okay. I'm a big girl too, and I have to shop at the big girl store. You guys know that one? Lame giant. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. It's really lame, Bryant. And you guys, it, I mean, it's okay to shop at the plus size store. You know you get there, because the mannequins are pudgy, and they have skittles at the register. <laughs> and they're always having a whale of a sale. <laughs> it's crazy. Now, I love it. And it's so funny because they actually changed their marketing. Lane Bryant was like, they're on to us. They know we're a plus size store. So instead of Lane Bryant, we're going to call it LB. I said, LB? That's pounds. <laughs> yeah, you're not fooling anybody, okay? I'm looking to go for ounces, guys. I want to be in the land of Oz, okay? But I don't even know where they always find the skinny girls. There's always some skinny gal at the register. She's like, oh my god. <sighs> I just got fired from Express. <laughs> like, I just got back from Panda Express. <laughs> and I go in for a swimsuit. She's like, you want a one piece or a two piece? <laughs> like, give me a six piece and a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> and a Diet Coke. Because <laughs> I don't want to get fat. <laughs> If you're laughing at that, you're kind of mean. But that's okay. You guys don't realize obesity is hereditary. I've got my dad's green eyes and my mom's orange Cheeto fingers. It's in my DNA, baby. Donuts, nachos, and alcohol. Hey! hey. I've got to stop. That's the most cardio I've had all week. Don't want to make my Fitbit explode. Um, so I am a teacher, guys. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher and a comedian. And I drink at both jobs. You would too if you had to deal with them all day. It's no coincidence that happy hour begins at three. Okay. So we put their happy butts on the bus. Bye bye now. Bye bye now. Come on, Hunter. Bye bye now. And I teach English, guys. I'm an English teacher. Woo! But here's the thing, guys. Kids don't like to read anymore. I know. It's sad. It is. It's true. And it's really upsetting. And now I just teach all the books with really good movies. That's what they want. They want to watch the movies. So we're currently reading Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> Two. And I think next week we're going to switch it up and we'll start like Great Men in History. Paul Blart Mall Cop. So. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just crazy. And all the kids, they're like, I don't need none of this grammar. I'm going to be a rap star. <laughs> like, sit your butt down, Notorious GED. <laughs> We're about to get some learning done up in this mall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so cute. And they're like, "Well, you know, if you were a rapper, they'd call you two chins." <laughs> I'm like, uh, "Sit down. It's three chins, friend." Okay. You need to learn on your math game. Okay. Because honestly, guys, I'm actually little Debbie. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I am the original snack rapper. Okay. You guys ready to hear Little Debbie rap a little tonight? Are you ready? They call me Little Debbie because I am so sweet. Got sugar in my veins and splendid in my feet. Are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? Feeling it. Creep feeling it. I never said no, no to a little ho ho. If you see me running, call 911 because I ain't jogging. Cops got a gun. If it's two for one, then that's one for later. So get your own and don't be a hater. I ain't talking smack. I just want a little snack. I gotta keep up because baby got front back. Yeah, baby. I never said no, no to a little ho ho, guys. Thank you so much.